In this video, we'll be exploring the physiology of salty taste. To have salty taste, um, you have to have sodium ion present. When sodium ion is present inside of the mouth, it finds gustatory cells that are specific to letting sodium in. Um, these gustatory cells have special channels that just let sodium come on through into the cell itself. Um, so you see here, this sodium is just going straight into the cell. And when sodium goes into basically any cell in the body, it's gonna cause the, the polarity to go more positive or more towards zero. Um, and when that happens, we have a voltage change and we have, we have graded potentials, action potentials, um, but specifically in this gustatory cell, we're only gonna have a graded potential. So once the, uh, a graded potential happens, you'll see that voltage dependent gates, such as the voltage uh, gated sodium channel will then open and let more sodium diffuse in. Um, and even a voltage gated calcium channel will open, letting calcium diffuse in. And we all know that when calcium comes into a cell, it causes uh, vast changes inside of the cell. It even causes things like uh, exocytosis. And the exocytosis is actually what we'll be looking at here. So calcium is going to come in. It's going to bind to these vesicles here that are containing ATP. And it'll cause uh, their snare proteins to be active. Um, and the calcium will also bind to snare proteins that are on the edge of the gustatory cell and activate those snare proteins. Um, and the snare proteins of the vesicle and the snare proteins of the gustatory cell will intermingle with each other so that they can fuse the vesicle and the gustatory cell membranes together, which will result in a dumping of the ATP molecules outside of the gustatory cell. So when this happens, the ATP is going to travel to a gustatory afferent neuron, which is specific to this gustatory cell. And when that uh, neuron uh, is contacted by the ATP, it is then triggered to uh, create an action potential, which then travels to the gustatory cortex of the brain, which tells you that while I'm, you know, I'm, I'm eating a bunch of salt, maybe you just uh, dumped a huge thing of salt in your mouth, or maybe you ate some salt and vinegar chips, uh, so on and so on. So let's go ahead and review what we just went over. So first off, sodium enters through the sodium ion channel into the gustatory cell. Sodium ion begins to depolarize the cell, a graded potential is activated, Voltage-gated sodium channels are activated to open. Voltage-gated calcium channels are activated to open. Calcium ions bind to the snare proteins, initiating vesicle release. And ATP is released onto the gustatory afferent neuron, causing the salty taste. 